So what I have here, uh, I have in Pro Tools a drum loop that I've just imported. Okay, just a regular kind of down tempo groove, full frequency. It's got high information as well as some low bass drum information. So plenty of information for us to filter or run through our filters. Now this, I'm using this example because it's easy to see a lot of times on a synthesizer, it just has knobs, but this will actually give us a nice graphical representation, which will be more similar to how I diagrammed uh, filters, resonances, slopes, etc. If this was our sound source or our oscillator, in this case it's not just a sine wave, it's an actual drum groove, but the same thing would apply if we were just generating you know, a sound like that. So I'm using a, only a, a drum groove just because it's a little more pleasant to the ear and it has more frequencies for us to alter with our filters. So first thing I want to do is open up the filter. You can see here, here's our range of human hearing, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. You can see right now I have selected a low pass filter, LPF. So low pass, allowing the low frequencies to pass and cutting the high frequencies. So let's start playing around with this. So here is our cutoff frequency. Remember our cutoff frequency is the point at which we start removing frequencies from our source material. So as we move this, you can see that there's the cutoff point right there. We move this, it'll start removing more and more of those high frequencies, allowing the low frequencies to continue passing. So that is a low pass filter. And you've heard these sounds, you've heard this kind of thing before, right? In a pop tune. So that's a low pass filter and we are sweeping the cutoff frequency. Okay, sweeping the cutoff frequency. Now we could also do a high pass filter. So high pass filter, allowing the high frequencies to pass, removing the lower frequencies. So as we sweep this one, So always allowing certain high frequencies to pass and filtering out the low frequencies. So a high pass filter. Now if we take and we combine a high pass filter and a low pass filter, that's when we actually get a band pass filter. You can see it's a, if we, here's our cutoff, if we take that and just look to the right, then that is a low pass filter and this one removing the low frequencies is a high pass filter so we take and join those two together and we have a band pass filter and you can see that you can have a band pass filter that allows only low frequencies to pass or a band pass filter that allows middle frequencies only to pass and a bandpass filter that allows just high frequencies to pass. Now, in this particular um, plug-in or filter, we can't change the Q, which is this width or the bandwidth. But a lot of synthesizers, you can. Okay, let's talk about resonance now. Let's take this filter and add some resonance. So resonance, you remember I said was adding a peak right at the cutoff frequency. So adding some, uh, adding some frequencies or boosting the frequencies right at the cutoff frequency. 
So let's do that. So that is demonstrating resonance. Now, you remember I also said that it was much more harsh or visible or audible when you sweep the frequencies. So let me sweep it once without any resonance. And we'll do the same thing now with resonance. You can see it really highlights those frequencies. Now I have my signal generator back up and I have my filter placed on that channel. So now I could also use this filter just like in a synthesizer to filter out certain frequencies. So I'm generating a sawtooth wave, A440. And now I want to filter this. See how it changes the texture using a low pass filter. And also add resonance if I chose to. So that's how it would sound on a real standard waveform, like a sawtooth, square, sine, etc. The slope in a filter was one of the last things that we discussed. So let me show that to you real briefly so you can see how slope actually looks visually. So here I've opened up a different plugin, and on this particular plugin, I'm going to change the slope. So first of all, I have added a high pass filter. Okay, similar to the other filter. But now you can see here is my slope. 6 dB per octave is what I'm removing. So every octave I go, I'm removing an additional 6 dB. So the steeper the slope, the more drastic the effect. You can see it just keeps getting steeper. We could also add a low pass filter, bring the frequency or cutoff frequency down, and also increase the slope to create a really nice mid rangey. filter. So there is a bandwidth or band pass filter. You can see I can also move it to the left or to the right. These are all still band pass filters. So is that. That just has a very wide bandwidth or wide Q. This is also a band pass filter just has a very high cutoff frequency and a fairly narrow band. So those are a great visualization on our slopes. 6 dB and 24 dB per octave slopes.